There's no doubt that attempting to solo six star raids in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet is a tough challenge, but don't worry, I've got you covered with a Pokemon that will do all the heavy lifting for you. Let's take a look. Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another awesome Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet tips and tricks tutorial video. Today's video is showcasing how to beat six star raids without the help of anyone. You'll be able to do them on your own with one specific Pokemon and that's going to be Annihilate. Yes, I know that going online and attempting to connect with people is going to be really annoying because odds are online connection doesn't work or you're playing with a bunch of people that don't really know how the game works. So, you know what, we're gonna throw online aside. So. This video is going to show you exactly how to get Annihilate, how exactly to EV train it, how to hyper train it, and what moves are we going to use in the battle in order to knock out Pokemon very, very easily. Now, this is not the absolute end-all be-all as far as raids go. It'll knock out a good 90 to 95% of all six star battles. He does have a little trouble if he gets burnt, but there's some ways of mitigating that. Anyway, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. We are well on our way to 1 million subscribers and I really appreciate each and every one of you. Anyway, let's jump into it. Your first step is to obtain a Mankey. Now, you can get this Pokemon pretty early on in the game if you guys are paying attention to these different habitats shown on screen right over here. Likewise, you can actually go and catch a Wild Primeape in order to shortcut that and find a Pokemon that's a little bit higher level. Now, what I'm going to show you guys right now is a Wild Terra Primeape, which is going to be your best bet for getting an Annihilate that's going to be a little bit stronger than any other one. So anyway, take a look right over here in the mountains. You'll see the small lake right to the east of the North Province area. So this is exactly where you're going to find the wild poison terra type primate. As you can see, he's right over here. And he's not necessarily too hard. You'll find him at level 50. So do what you can in order to knock out all of his HP after he terrestrializes. And then, of course, you can pick and choose whatever Pokeball you want. Now, you'll notice over here that he's the poison variety, which is really good against fairy types, but right now, honestly, that doesn't even matter. So, I just threw a quick ball as soon as his terrestrialization wore off, and now we are done with step one. We have our good primate. Now, next up, we want to head over to Mesa Goza's Chansey Supply. You'll be able to see that right to the west of the eastern entrance. Head on over here, and we are going to now shortcut all of the EV training that's normally necessary. Of course, if you don't have a lot of money in the game and you want to EV train naturally, feel free to do so by checking out my tutorial videos. Oh, well, if you guys do have money and you want to spend it right over here, this is where we're going to shortcut it. So grab a total of 25 HP up, and we'll also be able to grab 25 of the protein. Now, this one's going to be a lot of money, and you may already have some bottles of protein or HP up in your pockets. So keep that in mind as you're looking around. You want 25 of each of those. And while you're over here, we want to pick up one of the Adamant Mints in order to make our stats a lot stronger, especially in physical attack, by 10%. So, super easy. We're going to now grab all the items that we just went on a shopping spree with, and we'll fill our Primeape up with every single one of these. So, Primeape's over here, newly caught, level 50, as you can see. The first thing that we're going to do is give it the Adamant Mint, which is right over here. If you have it sorted by name, all you have to do is click on him and boom, now your stats are going to be geared towards 10% stronger attack stat by sacrificing 10% of the special attack stat. That's perfectly fine. We're not going to use our special attack anyway. You'll notice over here that we have 25 HP up. We're going to use that on Primeape over here, every single one of them. So now he's got 250 50 uh, HP EVs, and now we're going to do the exact same thing for protein. Use all of the bottles, boom, just like that. We're going to have 250 attack EVs. Yes, so now that he is 99% EV trained, what we need to do is get him evolved. So, head on over to any area that has some low-level Pokemon or high-level Pokemon. It doesn't even matter. Ultimately, we, what we want to do is use the move Rage Fist 20 times within the game. Now, by doing so, this will allow our Primeape to actually level up and evolve into Annihilate. So, it's a little bit of a slog, but as you can see over here, the power points are 10 on Rage Fist. So, what you'll have to do is knock out 10 Pokemon, and then go to a Pokemon Center, heal up, 
and knock out another 10 Pokemon and you'll be all set. Now it doesn't necessarily matter about KOs, it's just about using the move. So make sure you use that. Anyway, once you've done that 20 times, head on over to your inventory. And if you have any experience candy or rare candy, feel free to go ahead and use that in order to level up your primate. And by doing so, if you've done it correctly and counted exactly how many times you've used Rage Fist, he will now evolve into a brand new Annihilate. Congratulations, this Pokemon is going to be super strong for you, and I'm so excited to share this entire moveset with you. So anyway, skip out on any of the moves. I'm going to show you which moves you'll exactly need. Um, and before we do so, if you have a spare extra 29 or approximately 30 experience candy extra larges, you can boost this Pokemon right up to level 100, just like I did over there. Of course, we did a lot of Charizard raids, so I'm sitting on a boatload of XL candies. Anyway, as you can see over here, he's fully maxed out in the HP and attack stat, and he's got the ability Vital Spirit, which prevents him from falling asleep. Now, what we want to do is go to re Remember Moves. You want to head on over to Screech, and then replace Poison Jab with it. Now we have half of the moves that we need for this entire build. The third move that we need for the build is going to be none other than Bulk Up. As you can see over here, right in the mountains in this specific spot is where you'll find that that exact TM and you'll be able to get it for free. Now if you've already picked this up then you'll have to go over to the TM machine and then use whatever materials it costs in order to get it. But anyway, if you fly right over here you'll be able to get that super easily. Now bulk up is going to be one of the main moves in order to deal so much damage with Annihilate. So head on over to your TM's bag, head on over to bulk up, click on the A button, choose your brand new Annihilate, and then put that in the third slot right over that way. You'll be all set. So now we have one more move that we're going to give our Annihilate. And we'll be able to find that right over here in the South Province Area 5 Watchtower. Now, if you haven't already climbed up this Watchtower, you're going to need to do so. And little did you know, if you hold the B button, you'll be able to climb a little bit faster. Hey, learn something new today, right? Anyway, right on the other side of the second tier is going to be a move called Drain Punch. Now, Drain Punch is a great move that will allow you to get a lot of your health back every time you use it in battle. So, it's absolutely amazing. Make sure that you grab Drain Punch and teach that to your Annihilate right away on your fourth move slot. And now our entire move set is complete with the ultimate build for Annihilate. Absolutely love that. Now, I'm gonna take it a step further and I'm gonna change up the order just so that I know exactly the order of operations. First it's gonna be Screech, then Bulk Up, then Rage Fist, and then Drain Punch. Easy peasy. Now here's another optional step in case you want your Annihilate to be even stronger in the game. Head on over back to Mesa Goza and we're gonna go pick up some bottle caps. Now odds are if you've done five star raids before, you probably have a couple bottle caps in your inventory. But if you don't, don't worry. All you have to do is head on over to the Deli Bird Presents right over this way and purchase them for about 20,000 a piece. Now, usually you buy six of them right over here in the General Goods tab, but for this exact Prime Ape and Annihilate Ape that we caught, he already has some perfect individual values because he was a wild Terra Pokemon. So I really only needed a small handful of these bottle caps. So what we need to do right now in order to hyper train it, we are going to head all the way over to Montanavera right over this way. Now once we're done flying over here, directly behind the Pokemon Center is going to be a man that has an Obama Snow. Head on over to him and since our Pokemon is over level 50, we can actually max out its individual values. Um, yeah, it's going to be super easy and if you're not familiar with what individual values are, definitely take a look at my video on that. So anyway, we got some bottle caps right over this way. We're going to max out whatever ones that uh, don't have the crown on them. Staying away from special attack because that's a waste of a bottle cap and we don't necessarily need that stat on our Annihilate. So there we have it. Our Annihilate has the max stats that it needs possible. Super great. So anyway, as you guys can see over here, the last thing that we're going to need is the item leftovers. You may already have this in your bag, but in case you don't, head on over to Cascarafa. Go over to the Deli Bird Presence right over this way, and we'll be able to purchase that in order to equip it on top of our Annihilate. Now, I really like this item simply because it gives a lot more longevity 
to Annihilate, whenever you're doing solo raids. Of course, it's a little bit expensive, but hey, you know what? It's an item that you can swap on any Pokemon. So open up the menu and then click on your Annihilate, give them an item to hold, and then scroll down over to your leftovers. And like I said earlier, uh, we want our Annihilate to be able to survive as many hits as possible, simply because of his main move of Rage Fist, which adds even more base power to Rage Fist every time he gets hit. So anyway, if you guys have already beaten the game and the post game, you'll have access to all of these six star raids. Now, as you can see, there's one right over this way, and luckily for us, it is a psychic one. Now, there's a lot of Pokemon that uh, will be actually a lot easy to knock out solo with this particular build, but we do want to keep an eye out for any of the Pokemon that learn Will-O-Wisp. Now, that's going to be uh, pretty much any, like, fire-type Pokemon, like Flareon, Armor Rouge, Sarah Ledge, Gengar, um, and, yeah, some other ones. So just stay away from those, because we don't want to get burnt with this entire set. So like I said earlier, this Pokemon will do a lot of the work, but he won't be able to knock out 100% of all of the Pokemon solo, simply because of potential status. All right, so as you can see over here, we have an Amoongus, and luckily for us, we have the ability Vital Spirit. What we're going to do is we're going to use three Screeches. Now, he's going to be using Foul Play, which is super effective against us, but honestly, it doesn't matter because we're going to be recovering from leftovers every turn, and we should be fine. So here we go. There's another Screech that way. That's our second Screech, so that means that his defense is a minus four right now. We can only do three screeches before he resets all of his stats and puts up that shield. So this is exactly what you'll need to do. And odds are, Screech doesn't have the best accuracy, so make sure that you pay attention to how many of those actually land. Now, in case you guys can see right over here, Amoongus tried to put us asleep, but we have the ability Vital Spirit, which will keep us awake throughout the entire battle. So that's a waste of a turn on Amoongus. Very awesome. And as you can see right over here, he puts up the grassy terrain, which also helps us recover even more health. So in case you guys are curious of where we're at, you can press the Y button and you can see all of the arrows pointing down. Six little arrows pointing down means that it is time for us to start using bulk up. Now, bulk up is going to boost our attack stat by one stage and our defense by one stage. Honestly, this is where we are going to nuke the Amoongus or any six-star raid. It's going to be very easy. Now, one of the things you want to pay attention to is not getting too greedy with these buffs. You don't want to stand over here and get to plus six because it's inevitable that these computer players are going to knock down its HP so far enough that he puts his shield up or that he resets everyone's stats that you wasted all your turns doing. Anyway, so I got two bulk ups right over this way, and I took a bunch of hits, and as I said earlier, Rage Fist is so strong, and it adds 50 base power every time you get hit, and that is super strong. Anyway, right over here, boom, as you can see over here, we were able to knock out an Amoongus at around 75% HP with one punch. It was super strong. Now, like I said earlier, this will work on a good 90 to 95 percent of the cast. Just watch out for status effects of burn and you'll be all set and ready to go and you'll be able to grind some Herba Mystica like the rest of us. Congratulations. Well, there you have it. It's none other than Annihilate. I hope you guys were able to build one just as quick as I was. And honestly, if this video helped you out, be sure to let me know by sharing it with a friend. We want a lot more people on board, especially those that attempt to jump online with others to have this Pokemon in order to carry other people. Do you have a Pokemon that you like using in order to solo raids? Now, I've seen a lot of different feedback of Golden Go and Nuke Sylveon. I might make some videos on those specifically. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. Honestly, just let me know in the comments. All right. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me. Happy holidays to each and every one of you guys. And I will see you guys on the next tutorial. Thank you so much for liking the video. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for turning on notifications. You guys are awesome. All right. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.